Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it just looks incredible. So really good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's the best. It is unreal. Wow. I'm going to have to drop it. That is a munch. Woo! We need to come to a decision now. Oh, we need to come to a decision. <laughs> Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, today is a versus ball. Whoa, it's a versus ball. So it's a very special one because I've got a uh, very good foodie fellow friend of mine, henceforth the giggle. We're going to have my favorite shawarma spot versus Hey Man Food Reviews favorite. Hey guys, I'm going to win. Shawarma I'm going to win. <laughs> Mm, I, this is going to be an interesting one. You, you've not tried mine. I haven't. No, and no. I haven't tried yours. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be an interesting one. You're, you're going to lose. I think you're going to so lose. I'm hungry. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's cut the. Let's cut the video. We're going to Nasar Lebanese Grill. Uh, then we're going to A Star Shawarma. So we are walking up right now, and we are going to try these two. Let's see. Let's see who's going to win. One of the advantageous points, in my opinion, is these guys have a butcher just there, and then they have the shawarma spot. The, uh, the grill just there. So. Ali's gone into the wrong. You've gone into the wrong one. He's gone into the wrong. <laughs> He's gone into the. That's that's the butcher. Okay. Uh, this is the place we're going to be munching at. Yeah. Let's go in and let's get some shawarma. Yeah. yeah go for it, bro. I just. Oh yeah. Bro. So this is their chicken shawarma. He's toasted it. Oh look at the layers on that one. Ali's nervous, which is always a good sign. Um, but we haven't tried his. We haven't tried his. So yeah, this is their shawarma. Do you want the rice pulled in half? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a mixed shawarma. A bit of heavy salty fries. I'm a little bit nervous now because it looks good. I'm still confident in my. Food. He's nervous. He's nervous. Okay, okay, it's my turn now. So here to represent, in my opinion, the best shawarma in all of Manchester is Nasar Lebanese Grill. Ali, let's go into. We have had a little nibble. Um, the wrap was insane. Yeah. The wrap. We had. We had. We had the wrap. Check my video out if you want a bit more info on that. We've got this one, I think. Should we give it a place? Oh, yeah, okay, let's go for the. Because you haven't touched that yet. We haven't actually touched it at all. That's for you, my good friend. Thank you very much. Um, let's go together. How cool does that garlic cream look? I've never seen garlic cream before. Yeah, yeah. It's, right. it's that, it gives that creamy touch, doesn't it? It gives that kind of. that taste with the garlic. What, well, you're going for both straight away? Fair play, I'm, I'm an animal. Fair play. It's because the wrap was so good. Oh, look at that. Oh, my yeah. God. It just looks incredible. It's very delicious. That is really good. No one. Is this what came up number one in your um, in your thingy when you did a whole series? For sure, is this number one? Number one. Good, good. Later on in the video, I'll say who's my second and third and fourth and whatnot, but this right, clear winner. Talk to me about the lamb. The lamb, do you know what? It's tender, it's soft, it's got like a, sometimes the lamb can be a bit strong. This has that taste, but good. I just taste good. A little bit gamey just to it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm, yeah, oh, also, they give us some falafel, which is quite nice. Mm. Falafel. Falafel. I thought that was lovely, really. They didn't have to do that. That was quite nice. Oh, look at that, boys and girls. Brother herbivorous and the crunch of the falafel. I'm so interested to see your your number one. Because I, I genuinely believe you can't get better than this. I'm However, you never know. I'm still confident my number one, actually. Ooh. I'm nervous because I think it's, it's closer than I thought. I thought mine would win by a, a clear mile. I still am confident, but not as, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. It's seasoned well. It's a little bit smoky. Personally, like, I know it's my number one, but what I really like is, let's conclude with a bit of a citrusy kick. You know, a little bit of lemon kick would be great. Maybe ask the brothers to drizzle a bit of lemon. However, it still is my number one. This is the best one I've tried. However, the, it just shows there's always room for improvement yeah I don't believe in a 10 yeah all right I don't believe in a 10 that makes sense I don't believe in 100 percent there's always something you can do to improve it a tiny bit because if there's something you can do to improve it a tiny bit how can it be a 10 that makes sense 9.999999 but there's always that 0.9001 that is a munch Woo! that is a munch you guys just finishing off at Nasar Lebanese Grill I'm smiling man I don't think he's gonna beat me I really don't think he's gonna beat this spot and he's got, he forgot his jacket, so we're back here. Yeah. Yeah. Ali, we need to, for another meal. where are we going now? We are going to go to my favorite place. You have to wait to see. You have to wait to see, won't you? So guys, here we've come to Ali's number one spot, A-star shawarma. This is the number one. This is the 
<laughs> we've got a little taster right now. Uh, I thought we were going to order some proper food, but the brother insisted we try a taster. Uh, one for Ali, one for me. Let's try their donut. This is what they're known for. It's so, uh, particular. we got the with the fresh, you know, okay, so. nice, nice. And this yeah. sauce, what is this sauce? That is, that is donut sauce, donut sauce. It goes nice yeah, with the donut, homemade donut sauce, and which is uh, over there, that homemade chili sauce, mint sauce, and garlic sauce. Okay, yeah, so just nice. starting off, guys, we have the Persian kabita, chicken cheese, bit of salad. I don't see no tomatoes here. I love tomatoes, yeah, uh, I don't uh, he, he doesn't like them. I hate tomatoes, uh, and then uh, this is the okay, this is I the I think this is no, the no, 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 you have these tomatoes. Which yeah. ones? I'll have them. Shall I put some tomatoes on that? No, one? no, please. <laughs> <please. laughs> Don't do that, bro. He's gonna cry. And this is their mixed, uh, sh the mixed uh, shawarma. Uh, homemade donut and homemade chicken. Homemade donut shawarma. and homemade chi chicken shawarma. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And on a, on a be bed of a naan. We're gonna call this the uh, Heyman plate. Yeah, yeah, uh, the yeah, Heyman yeah. plate. Let's go and yeah, let's go. Do you think? Do you think you're gonna win? I do think. Ooh. We're gonna win. <laughs> No, I think honestly, at this point, now that I'm back here, I've like, I've remembered, you know, the, some bells have been rung. This is gonna win. I'm actually pretty confident now. Uh, this is this is gonna win. Uh, do you mean and, and we have to promise each other, we have to be honest. We can't get further entrenched in our original view. If it's better, we have to say it's better. Right. Yeah? Shake on it. Shake on it. I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> I wouldn't trust someone from Birmingham too. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, lead the way, just lead it. This is my favorite shawarma in Manchester. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try the chicken shawarma, we're gonna try the donna. Something which I love here, everything is made in house. A lot of places they bring their donna in. Mm -hmm. Here, it's made right here. You've got garlic sauce, you've got chili sauce, you've got mint sauce, you've got this amazing uh, donna sauce, which I think has got a lentil base, uh -huh, uh -huh. all made here. Yeah, so let's go for the shawarma. Shawarma. Then properly, <laughs> let's go for that first. Yeah, man. And uh, ooh, it's, ooh, it's, it sounds crispy, man. You know, it sounds crispy. A little dippy poo okay. into the lentil sauce. Yeah. That's it. That's the best. I'm sorry. That, that's the best. The crispiness, the juiciness, the flavor. Wow. It should be called crispy, juicy flavor shawarma. It's unreal. Wow. That's delicious, man. That is really, really nice. I think with this one, what you don't get with the previous one is that conclusion of a bit of citrusy kick. I'll, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for the balance of flavor. It just adds a bit. It just huh. adds a little bit. It's like almost not an yeah. taste, but. Like an undertone, it's not a major flavor, but it's yeah. There. The smokiness is there too, not as much as the other one, but it is there. It's juicy. It's a really, really good yummy shawarma. Good. Well done, Ali. Well done. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry. Donna, 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 Donna. It was so rare to find a homemade Donna. There's a place in London, Super Kebab. They make it themselves. They've got butchers. Those are great. This is a great Donna. A little Christmas to it, and it's not. It's not greasy. Like it's actually quite a light thing to it. I really like that. It's not oily too. No, no, really light, really nice. I'm gonna have to drop it. That is a munch. Woo! Oh, that is a munch, man. Well done, Ali. Something I would love for you to try. Uh, we might have ordered it on my channel, but you have to. You, 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 you yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. Well, I would love for you to try the garlic sauce. Should I try with the kabita, yeah? Yeah, because I want your viewers to see, you know, like. Okay. For me, because it's made here, I think you can taste the difference. Super garlicky, really creamy. Oh yeah, man. Really yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Garlic sauce. Very garlicky, yummy. Love Predominant it, flavor of like yogurt. Oh, that's good, man. Oh, what? Well, well done, Ali. Well done. I think it's a good shot. It's a good shot. You're really the shawarma guy. I'll be honest. Sharif's on a big series, like you guys know, Sharif viewers. You're really the shawarma guy. I'm more the other stuff. So I do think this is a really good shout. A really good shout. I'm more. It has passed my expectations. Whoa, that's really good. Really, but yeah, that is. That's a happy bird right there. That's where you know food is hitting. We haven't tried this though. Should we have a sugar yeah. arms? You go for bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't normally get uh, like chicken tikka, piece of chicken yeah. stuff with this kind of food. Yeah. If I'm being honest with you. I got you, man. I always just get the shawarma, and that's kind of be done. Oh, FGC. No. Juicy. That with the homemade naan, be a chili and garlic, that make an amazing wrap. That is good, man. So guys, we need to come to a decision now. Mm. Oh, we need to come to a decision. <laughs> but we said we should we shook hands before. Mm. We have to be honest. We're gonna be honest. Now, now, I don't mind throwing my hat in the ring, as it were. Right. This is my viewpoint on this. Okay, be completely honest. Um, so NASA, the first time I've been, I would say. That's one of the best places for shawarma I've ever been to. I think it's better than like Levenshin Bakery. It's better than um, 
today. It's better than flavor. It's better than what else is good? It's basically better than all the places I've been to. Ooh. So it's probably, however, I would say a place like this where everything is made in house. I think they might make everything else. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm not sure about the sauces. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, it's close. So for me, the donna here, the chicken shawarma here, the Unreal. homemade, the homemade uh, naan for me is a big difference. The lentil sauce, I think this tips it. I'll be honest, I think this tips it. Um, that's what I went in thinking, and that's kind of what I confirmed. But that is probably my oh dear. second favorite place, I would Ooh. say. I'm still gonna say uh, this will be second, and then the San Lebanese will be first. I think just both are incredible. I think there's mighty, like, Zero point. It's close, one isn't or it? two. It's very, very um, Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like that place doesn't do donna, but this place doesn't do lamb shawarma. Oh, yeah, th yeah, it doesn't do so lamb shawarma. Like, they both do lamb, but like, that's what I mean. It's oh, like my man. year. So they're both missing one thing, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Like, it's kind of like what you prefer the lamb shawarma or the lamb donna. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah, like. I think the flavouring, the smokiness, that what we look for in Chihuahua, the bread, the, the, the sauces, the fact, that it's, the fact that it's homemade, it's all, they're all getting top marks. But you guys decide is which is your favourite. Eat both, eat both. I, I would happily, honestly, I would, I would honestly recommend both. I would say eat both and then make your, let us know in the comments. That is a draw. <laughs> it's pretty much it. It's one pretty much a draw. One all. So uh, sorry to be of no help to oh, yeah. you guys really. We've uh, not improved your life in any way. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but you got two great recommendations, one and two. Try them both. Ali, just one final thought of the whole experience. Do you know what it's always a pleasure working with you, man? Like, it's just been so good. We're so lucky in Manchester for the food that we have. We're like the best food city in the country, can I just say. By a mile. I'm just chucking that in really slightly, really quickly. But yeah, amazing food, really well priced. And I would happily, even though this is my favorite, that is, I would happily go there. And I would definitely go there again. Yeah, man. So guys, if you're near here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you're not following Ali from Hey Man Food Reviews, what are you doing with your life? Sort it out, man. Follow the Instagrams, follow the TikToks, and follow the YouTubes. And we, you know, you sign it off. You sign it off. And that is a is the munch at the end of the I do this for a living. I don't know what to say, but I'm like. <laughs>